we need to discuss about our relationships nowadays. Well said. So one thing you just said in your introduction, she's starting already, <laughs> is that there are safe spaces for men to express how they feel publicly, but you don't feel like there are safe spaces for women to do so. I'm sure a lot of guys would say the opposite. Women have been free since the, since the onset of the women's suffrage movement to express how they feel publicly. And when men do, they're sassy, they're this, they're that. So can you talk a little bit more about safe spaces for men and women in today's society? Yeah, I mean, a safe space for a man is everywhere. I mean, where where is it not a safe space for them? Um, they can be mean at work. They can be um, bossy at work. They can be bossy at home. They can be aggressive with their friends. You know, the, the world will always think it's okay for men to act like that because that's kind of what we expect from men. Mm -hmm. um, but when it comes to women, you act sassy at work, now all of a sudden you you the a B word. You mm -hmm. know, like you can she's cuss, a, girl. We yeah, here. Okay. We <laughs> You know, this <laughs> bitch. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just like, you know, what Nikki said, you know, like they expect women to take whatever you want. You know, like if I accepted the pickle juice, I'd be drinking pickle juice right now. Mm -hmm. You know, like when you when you're like, no, nah, I'm not going to accept whatever you're giving me because I am who I am and I know who I am. Then you're a bitch, you know. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, it's just, you know, the world will always let men just do and say whatever they want to um, because, you know, Several things, patriarchy and all that. But um, women are always, you know, you have to be soft spoken and sweet and I have to talk like this and mm -hmm. touch my hair. And it's just like, no, I'm not going to do that. Well, I just yeah. touch my hair, y'all. I was just adjusting my ponytail. But yes, I get no, it. No, yeah. So it's just like, you no, know, it's OK for women to be, you know, I appreciate a loud woman. You know, uh -huh. I do. I appreciate a woman that is going to speak up. Um, and not just take anything. The world wants us to take whatever, you know, it's going to give us. Like, I'm not going to take anything. I'm going to create my own lane. Yes. Well yeah. said. So one of the clips, I think the first time that I saw you across my timeline, you had a clip where you were talking about um, older men dating younger women and thinking that they're the ones who are coming up, mm -hmm. thinking that they're the ones who got the prize and they're the ones who are winning in that transaction. Can you talk a little bit more about that, uh, the interaction between older men and younger women? and who's really winning and what's the, what it's what's going on between these people yeah so um you know i can acknowledge that the world considers a woman's value to be her youth and beauty and the world considers a man's value to be his position in the world and his money yeah. so you know that's that's not up for argument that is what the world values for, from each uh sex so i i can acknowledge that yeah um the average man will want a younger, prettier girl, right? But there has to be a time in your life, in a man's life, where he's like, yeah, I should probably stop chasing the 21-year-old, especially when I'm 50. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think it's cute. I don't think it's, you know, and here's the thing, too, that I didn't really get to discuss because people was already on my head about it. Mm -hmm. um, if a man could go, and I think I talked about this anyway already on, on the Instagram, but if a man could go lower in age with whom he dates, he would. Mm -hmm. The only thing stopping a man from dating a 13-year-old is the law. Mm -hmm. And we know that they still do that. So I don't think it's um, okay for us to think that it's okay that a man that is in his 50s and 60s is going to date a 20 year old and we're just like well we see it all the time like just because we see it all the time does not make it okay mm -hmm. like it's not okay and then you know I just want women to acknowledge that when these men are trying to get with you like because I'm in my 20s and I have men 50s and 60s actually trying to talk to me mm -hmm. and I'm just like what's going on here? Like, I don't think it's normal for me because first of all, what do you want with me? Mm -hmm. I know what you want with me. Mm -hmm. And if I'm... And what, no, what do we want? Let's get clear. What do they want from you? I mean, the older men, they're want, they want someone cute on the arm, but they're in it for the sex. You know, they're in it for the sex. Um, do I think a 50, 60 year old man is going to like marry me and want me for me? No. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, if you're somebody that you date for money and then he dates for looks, like, okay, like that's whatever. It is what it is. But... I, I just hate for women to think that um, that they're being valued by older men because that's not the case. Mm -hmm. um, what the case is, is they're at an age where they are still childish and thinking. They're 50 thinking like a 25 year old. Mm -hmm. um, they don't have what it takes to date a woman who's on her shit. Like, you know, if he has three kids, she got three kids. They know what it is like. He wants to date somebody that's a little bit more um, younger, naive, um, will think that she's on the come up with him mm -hmm. um the money aspect is something too you know if a younger woman is even interested in you she's she's not interested in you because 
for anything else besides the money. Yeah. So, you know, I just want those relationships to be like, it's, it's not okay for men to think that they can date so much younger and we say, it's okay because we see it all the time. Like, it's a lot of things we see all the time. Yeah. You know, and doesn't that doesn't make, make it acceptable. It, or, exactly, right. exactly. So it's just like, yeah, these men are, are not the prize. Um, Older men that think, <laughs> I was just on a podcast <laughs> and I don't want to like spill too much tea, but I was just on a podcast with somebody and the man that I was on the podcast with was obviously very much older. Like, he was probably not 50 but in his 40s and mm. i asked him how old are you you know what this man said to me what you know mentally i feel 24 so i'm gonna go with that mm. nigga uh -huh. i can't i can't mm -hmm. like you're ashamed to tell me how old you are because you know you want to date girls in their 20s yes and you want me to be like oh you know he's mentally 24 he's cool and, no nigga like that's not cool and he is aware that that's undesirable because, because he was, he's high his age. Right, because if he were proud of it, and which is why women always say, oh, you can never ask women their age because there is a shame attached to being older. Mm -hmm. I think that you are absolutely right on the money when you say, generally speaking, in our society, the value of a woman is attached to her youth and her beauty, and the value of a man is attached to his position and his income. Mm -hmm. And so even though we recognize and we appreciate that, he absolutely did not want to answer that question because clear as day, he knew that he would be seen as less desirable to you. And that's why he didn't want to say it. And I feel like he thought that I would think that he's a creep, mm -hmm. you know, because they know they that's why I meet so many older men when they hit on me. I ask them, how old are you? They never want to tell me their age because mm -hmm. they know what they're doing. Like mm -hmm. they know what they're doing, because if they were probably if they saw nothing wrong with it, they would be like, yeah, you know, I'm 56. I got a few kids, what of it? Mm -hmm. But they don't. They're like, how old do I look? You know, I, you know, I, I don't give a fuck. You know, <laughs> like I honestly don't. Uh -huh. And it's just like you are hiding your age because you know what's something wrong with you trying to talk to me. Mm -hmm.